What's up, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. So, it appears that Batman Returns was originally supposed to be uh, radically different. So, let's see. Sam Hamm's original script for the sequel to 1989's Batman was a radically different sequel that would have taken The Dark Knight in a new direction. And, I mean, full disclosure, I love Batman Returns. I mean, Batman Returns is probably my favorite of the Keaton movies. Uh, let's see. Welcome to the 10th installment of Page One Rewrite, where I examine comics to screen adaptions that just couldn't make it. This week I'm looking at the script for Batman 2, written by the writer of 1989's Batman, Sam Hamm. Um, Warner Brothers developed the script with Hamm, apparently without director Tim Burton's input around 1990. Burton initially expressed reluctance to make another Batman, but agreed to return after Warner Brothers granted him more creative control, telling him this could be more of a Burton film than a Batman film. Burton rejected Hamm's script and brought in Heather's writer Daniel uh, Waters. Wesley Strick uh, was later chosen to do another draft and stuck around the set for even more rewrites. Interesting. Uh, the critical reception to the eventful film Batman Returns was some, somewhat positive, though many viewers, uh, vi many viewed the script as a mess. Warner Brothers felt like the movie was too dark and disturbing, jeopardizing licensing deals with corporations partners like McDonald's. But if they didn't like Burton's but if they didn't like Burton's film, it's hard to imagine the response to Ham's first draft. That's true. I, I remember all the backlash, like uh, McDonald's uh, stopped carrying the Batman Returns Happy Meal toys and everything. And uh, I don't think it was too dark. I think it was great. 